So I have this layout here and this is two six by 12 pieces. So a six by 12 enlarged photo and then a six by 12 page here. And as I was looking at it, I was thinking that it could be really easily adapted to pocket page scrapbooking. So if you look at just this section, this could be a four by six, two four by six cards. And then this could probably be a six by eight photo. So I'm gonna make another spread that is a variation on this for pocket page scrapbooking that will be a six by eight photo and then two four by six pieces that is a variation on this design. So I started by taking some of the foundations paper and just cutting out some very random shapes with my scissors, some oblong, some more circular, um, some kind of like a leaf, just wanted some variants for them to kind of work together nicely. Then I took the art crayons and did the technique where you kind of make them like watercolor and some of the pieces I kind of just dipped into the watercolor and then others I kind of painted on and let them fall and kind of create the little texture. It just kind of was random and I just kind of felt out what I liked. And so this is kind of the base layer. And then after I kind of got some of the color that I liked that matches the photo that is going to go with the layout. Then I started splattering a little bit. There I'm dipping it in the mixture there. And then I took some glaze and put it over the honeycomb stencil. And I really like this a lot. It's real shiny. You can see how it kind of reflects in the light. And just did that on three different pieces. Always do things in threes. <laughs> in fact, when I was coloring, I would do three in the red and then I would do orange and then yellow just because it tends to be even if you kind of do things in that routine. So now I'm taking some of the brush and doing some of the yellow wet art crayon over the stencil. So I did the honeycomb stencil and the, and the flower stencil there as well with the glaze and then also with the art crayons. Then they weren't drying so I took a brayer and just quickly ran over them so they would dry. I wasn't being impatient and <laughs> I just wanted to get it done. And I'm stamping the leaf onto a couple of them. I love the shimmer in that color wheel set. So I put leaves on a couple of them. I really like the way that that, it really shines in the light as does the glaze. So I really like the, the shimmer in this layout. So now I'm taking the pieces and I'm gonna just kind of bunch them together here, and make a kind of random, almost like a scalloped border here. And it's funny, I was being so impatient, I didn't wait for the, it to dry, the uh, texture glaze to dry, because I just, I had time and my children are always very needy, so I have to do things when I can do them. So I ended up sewing, machine stitching them, the bottom part, because I wasn't really able to adhere very well because I couldn't push down in the middle there because it was still wet. But I really like the texture that machine stitching added, and also it holds it more securely. So the nice thing is that on the larger layout, I used the 12 by 12 of that leaf pattern. And then for this one, I used the six by eight. So the leaves kind of worked in terms of the scale of their size. The smaller leaves worked with this scallop pattern and the larger leaves worked better on the six by 12 layout. So I'm just kind of randomly placing these around. I really like the pops of green that that added. And so for the other layout, I used the gold lettering as the title. And then for this one, I'm using the black, which goes nicely with her shirt. And then I fussy cut a few of the butterflies out of the patterned paper, the vellum patterned paper. So again, more adding more shimmer. And I was going to put the butterfly on top of the unique instead of the dot, but I end up not really liking that very much. So I kind of was fussy about where to put it because I couldn't quite decide. I was moving it and trying and I just couldn't, couldn't figure it out. I get fussy with details like that. I also, because I hadn't waited, I was getting some of the texture glaze all over everything, but it wiped off really nicely with a baby wipe, so it wasn't a problem. So then I didn't, the other, the word B, the scripty B, was too big for the scale of this layout, so thankfully the stamp set comes with a B, the word B, so I was able to stamp that on top of the unique instead of using the other thicker, the, the thicker B, the scripty B. And so here on the other layout, I had had this part to the right, but it seemed to me in terms of balance, it was better to have it there to the left. I played with putting those gold leaves there, but I didn't end up liking it. It was a little bit too busy, but I thought it needed another pop of red. So I ended up putting a little red sticker strip there instead of the gold leaf. And I liked the way it tied the red in. 
and then I stamped the date. And so this is nice for my daughter's 6x8 album, and it'll just slip in really well to her album. I really like these pocket page layouts. They they just seem a lot more manageable. <laughs> like the scale is smaller, and so sometimes it's less overwhelming to do pocket page scrapbooking. So I really like the way that the different layers turned out. It was really fun to make, fun to play around. And I like how that arrow kind of points to her shirt, which is um, a really favorite shirt of mine that she wears right now. The journaling talks about being unique and being who she is. And then this is the original layout that I had made that inspired the variation here. It was the exact same techniques. It was just a larger scale. And the butterfly worked better because it was a little bit bigger. So thanks for checking it out.